hater, then on to the next. next. I like to shit on my ex. ex. Remember times I was broke. broke. Now I'm about to run up a check. check. I'm about to run up a check. What's going on, guys? Well, I see Mitchell here with another tutorial, and today I'm here to show you all how to do the simple music video strobe color effect. You can use this in music videos. It's a very simple effect, very quick. It's gonna give you a stylized look for your videos and it's not gonna take you a lot of time to do this at all. So before we dive into this, go ahead and drop me a like on this video. Also hit that bell so you don't miss any future uploads like this one, man. Get notified for these uploads. So uh, let's just dive straight into it, man. Right here in the timeline, I have a sequence of clips already set up. Uh, and they, these particular clips are what you saw in the preview before the music video started, uh, the tutorial started, I'm sorry. So let's just duplicate these over. And I'm just going to delete this adjustment layer because that's where I had the effect at. And let's just show you all how to do this effect. So if you're planning on using this effect over a course of a lot of different clips, I'm going to suggest that you do it on an adjustment layer. Um, but if you want to do it just for one clip, then you can just simply add the uh, effect straight to that clip. So I'm going to show you the adjustment layer method. So just come over here, hit the new item button, and uh, we're going to get a new adjustment layer. Hit OK. This is just going to confirm that we want this to be the exact same settings as the sequence. Cool, so let's just drag this adjustment layer in and we're gonna drag it over the sequence of the clips that we wanna add, whether that be two or five or however many you personally want. And let's just go over to our effects panel and we're gonna search for color balance. Color balance, and we're gonna choose the color balance HLS version. Drag that straight to our adjustment layer or clip, whichever one you're planning on using this on. And uh, let's just go to our effects controls panel for this particular adjustment layer. Scroll down to it, and if you're not familiar with uh, keyframes, basically keyframing is what we're going to do. So let's just scrub to the beginning of the adjustment layer or clip, whichever one you're planning on uh, adding this effect to. And we're just going to hit this little clock right here, which is just going to add in a keyframe point. And we're going to scrub to the end of the clip or adjustment layer, whichever one you're doing. And we're going to add in another keyframe point right here. So. On the second keyframe point we added at the end of the adjustment layer or clip, we're just going to boost this number for you way up. Depending on how fast you want this to go, uh, it's going to really signify how fast you want the effect to go. So I want mine to go super fast. I'm just going to keep on wrapping this up to around like eight times, uh, somewhere in that area. And I'm just going to render through this real quick because I'm sure my computer will not play it because I have all these other adjustment layers right here. So let's just speed through this portion. So this is what you're going to get with your effect. You can see uh, that it's going through and it's just switching a lot of colors uh, randomly through the hue. If you go through this and you find that your clip is not changing colors fast enough, uh, what you can simply do is click back on your adjustment layer, go to the effects panel, and uh, go to the second keyframe that you added in and just uh, drop this number down if it's not going, if it's going too fast, just drop this number down. And if it's going, uh, if it's not going fast enough, then you can just boost this number up higher than that so it can go a little bit faster. So uh, that's how you do the color change strobe effects for your music videos or whatever you're planning on doing. If you found this video helpful, make sure to drop me a like, comment, and also subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Follow me on Instagram, Twitter, pretty much anywhere at YC Imaging to stay updated on content. And I'm gonna check y'all out on my next video. Peace.